So day 102 and it's officially started. It was too late last night to record so I'll do a video while I'm doing it a little later. But uh, I told you guys about melting down my scrap and everything. Now these are just test runs. These are not the final product but here's a copper one I did yesterday. I think it looks pretty nice for being a test. And here is a brass one. Now I thought that they were going to be a little bigger, but evidently not. So, uh, oh, and like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing skulls. I already have the uh, PLA part of the skull. So I'll be doing that. Uh, maybe you guys can follow me along with that process to see what we can make out of it. Um, I feel a little better. Um, still doing fine on my diet. Uh, I'm happy that I don't have any uh, like urge to gorge or anything like I used to way before all this. Um, and uh, I didn't really believe in emotional eating, but I think I do now because it's like the only time when I've like, you know, had that Oh, I just want to go get this or that to eat is like after something upsets me. So maybe emotional eating is really a thing. I don't know. But uh, so things are kind of changing. Um, you know, I'm, I may actually, when I was melting down the scrap uh, to make these test bars, I actually really enjoyed that. It's like maybe I found another passion, metal casting, and I like, I'm still waiting for my, because I need a, a, a ceramic slurry called Suspenda Slurry to do the skull. And I ordered it, it was expensive, it was like 500 bucks. Uh, I'm just waiting for that to get here. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but I need that to get here for me to even try. But I already got the skull. Uh, but since the skulls are so expensive to get the PLA part of it, it's like 60 or $70 each. Uh, and if I don't melt them out of the casting right, then it's just a waste. So I'm probably going to buy something cheaper and smaller and try that first. To make sure I, uh, make sure I know what I'm doing. So, uh. Yeah, I also looked more into uh, the differences and prices of something similar to the skulls that I'm going to be doing, and they can go as much as three and four thousand dollars. So I'm actually kind of excited about that and see what I can make out of that. Uh, I know when I originally started, I had that kind of crazy goal of like four hundred and twenty-five thousand. Um, and I have been praying more than I used to. Um, you know, maybe uh, this whole casting thing, because I'm not really sure what sparked it. Um, like, I know I saw online people, what people are selling them for, but, like, to actually buy a melting forge and all this stuff and start doing it, maybe it was God's way of, like, hey, this is what you're really supposed to be doing. Maybe I'm supposed to be a metal cast artist or something, because I really enjoyed that. Um, but at any rate, it's still a learning experience because uh, as far as like the sanding and polishing, I found that I actually bought the wrong stuff. Um, the stuff that I bought will take substantially longer than buying the right stuff. So I'm going to take that stuff back and buy the right stuff. But... Uh, I had a heck of a job today up in Northport, and the contractor built the tub decks wrong, so it was like impossible to get this, the faucets in. Uh, I kind of got one in, but it looks like trash. Um, but this guy hires all unlicensed contractors mostly, except for us. Uh, and I mean, the cabinet guy's actually pretty good, but everyone else is like. It's just, the work just looks like trash. So I, I nicknamed him the Trash Panda. But uh, I guess that's a little mean. 
But then again, he didn't pay us for like three months. So, I don't know. But, so, yeah. Um, that's what's exciting. And, uh, like I said, going to start kicking my workouts way back up. It's just been really, really super tired. Uh, maybe I'm still recovering. Uh, I do need to get more sleep. And I did start getting more sleep the other day. Normally, I kid you not, man, I don't go to bed until like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, and I get up between 5 and 6. So, I started to make a point, like, by the time it gets to be like 10 o'clock, I start to try to get, you know, the girls meddled down and in bed, but they're little freaking unhinged lunatics, so it's like, they'll still, at 9 and 10 o'clock, they'll be running around chasing each other. But, uh, so yeah, tomorrow, definitely, I'm going to get some uh, video of the whole metal casting thing. Uh, maybe bring my uh, little camera holding tripod thing that I started with out to do that. I'm not going to make it super long and boring or anything, but uh, at least like before, right before I pour, you'll be able to see uh, what I'm doing. And I ordered a few other things for that too. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about that. And I will talk to you tomorrow.